Welcome to my mini backyard apple orchard. It consists of a whopping three trees. I know, I know. Not really what you'd call an apple orchard. Wishful thinking, I guess. Anyway, this is what I have to work with for now. I planted these apple trees in a triangle formation to maximize spacing and sunlight. They're planted about eight feet apart, which is a little close, but it's the best I could do since most of my backyard is shady a lot of the time. This first apple tree was grown from the seed of a store-bought apple. It is currently three years old and it seems to be doing very well. It's pretty tall, about nine feet right now. Because it was grown from seed, it may not produce good fruit, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. No, not that kind of shot. This tree here is a Macintosh and it was just planted a couple of weeks ago. I bought this tree at a local farmer's market and it was grafted onto a dwarf rootstock. It's about five feet tall right now. Lots of nice green growth on it. This last tree is a Cortland apple tree. I bought it with the Macintosh and planted it at the same time. It looks pretty healthy so far, but it doesn't have as much foliage as the Macintosh. I've been watering all of these trees every few days giving them a good soaking to get them off to a strong start. Once they're a little more established, I'll cut down on the watering. One thing I noticed is that some of the leaves have some dry brown spots on their tips. I'm pretty sure this is just caused by stress from being in a small pot, and also possibly from transplant shock. So I'm not really that worried. So far, I'm super happy with how my mini apple orchard is looking. It's now February 2019 and the apple trees are dormant. Winter is the perfect time to look at your trees and decide how you want to prune, since the foliage is gone and you can see the tree's structure very well. My four-year-old gala apple tree that I grew from seed is developing a nice thick trunk. Here you can see some coarse roots protruding from the trunk near the ground. Interesting. I tied some pieces of orange yarn around the branches of the tree that I'm planning on pruning in the spring. This branch here is very spindly, and it is too low down. I'm still learning how to prune fruit trees, but right now I just want to take off any weak branches or branches that are crossing other branches. Ultimately, I just want to give my trees a good solid framework for supporting heavy crops of apples in the future. This apple tree is now over 10 feet tall. I think I'll top it off in the spring to encourage strong lateral growth. I'm not exactly sure where I'll make the cut yet. I find it unusual that my gala apple tree didn't drop all its leaves in the fall. The dwarf Macintosh apple tree has lots of short branches jutting out from a central leader. It'll take a while before it gets a nice network of branches like my gala apple tree. I expect an explosion of growth in the spring from this tree. The dwarf Cortland apple tree looks very similar to the Macintosh, but it has a lot less branches. Also, it looks like it's starting to put out flower buds. Flower buds look different from leaf buds because they are usually plumper. I'm not sure, but I'm hopeful. I can't wait to see what the future will hold for my mini backyard apple orchard.